I was at King's between 1991 and 1996 and I have fond memories of my time at King's, especially the support that I received from teachers and tutors who really encouraged me in order to perform at my best. It wasn't all plain sailing, there were difficult periods and coming from a state school it wasn't easy getting into the work ethic that King's had. So what I found fascinating was learning about other faiths, being a Muslim myself, learning about the Christian faith and the universal values of love, tolerance and understanding uh, were values that uh, will serve me well in my future career and especially now as mayor of the city. Teachers instilled in me the art of questioning and how to question things and getting the answers through those questions. The ability to stay firm once you've made a decision and sticking by that decision and the ability to make decisions, King's enabled me to do is actually make a decision, stand by it and make better decisions by making bad decisions, if that makes sense. So those are the key skills that kind of uh, later on in life or in my workplace uh, I was able to transfer over. The biggest compliment that I can give to King's was the opportunity um, that were presented from business leaders outside in the real world who came in and passed on their knowledge to me. And one of those examples is where I was privileged enough to hear a talk from Sir Cecil Duckworth, CBE of uh, Worcester Bosch and Worcester Warriors fame, who did a talk on tenacity and resilience. Uh, and those words uh, in that talk t stayed with me for the rest of my life. Um, 22 years later, in my position uh, as mayor of the city, I'm in regular contact with Cecil and inviting him to civic functions. Being in such a high profile role requires a close network of talent and of knowledge which you can rely upon to advise you through the more difficult uh, decision making process. In my role as mayor, I have to think outside the box, have to think about every possible scenario because the decision is not only affecting me or my community, it affects the, the city and the 100,000 residents. So I've got to make a wiser decision and the more advice that I can get from trusted sources, uh, namely uh, people close to me and people that I trust and the OVs, then it helps me make a, a better decision for the city. I always refer to uh, Kings as a family rather than a community because we benefit from each other's uh, highs and lows, we celebrate together and we stay in contact and, and that's the most valuable attribute um, going forward once you uh, leave Kings. You actually don't leave, you stay in contact, you stay uh, and you give back to the, to the school which gave you so much uh, and that's the, the beauty of the system. Um, seven years ago, my wife and I made a conscious choice that we would send our kids to King's. That's the best decision that we've ever made. They're both flourishing and they love going to school. And that's the atmosphere King's creates. There's a couple of um, teachers that are still there that I'm sure that have reminded my children that uh, I was a student under their wings. And, uh, you know, there are some stories that they maybe I possibly want to forget that they rem 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 remind them of, but uh, it's, you know, that's the beauty of it. You know, two generations going into the, the King's family, into the King's foundation uh, and benefiting it and coming out and well-rounded individuals that can uh, have a great effect on, uh, on, on the world around them. Tenacity, resilience, the ability to question everything and never giving up and self-belief. These are the values uh, and skills that really were instilled in me and, and drummed in me, which I took into the real world and which aid, enabled me to succeed and get to the position that I am. Some of the experiences that I had at King prepared me for life at university and then life at at uh, work because one thing I pretty much picked up pretty quickly in the workplace was the capacity for work that I was able to take on at such a young age and that could only have been instilled in me through the the constant drumming uh, and increase in workload uh, at King's. But King's is a family and the skills and experience that I, I take on are invaluable but what makes it so special is that you're still able to tap into that vast knowledge and other areas of expertise which you may not be uh, privileged to by going back to the OVs uh, and finding people with skills that you, you don't have uh, and the knowledge that you need in order to succeed in your role or to make a better decision. I was given so much, that opportunity that I was given at King's, um, I, I soon realised that the more that you give back to your community, the more benefits 
um, that you get uh, and you make your community and your area and your city a better place as a result of it. And that love and care and attention that you put in with, with heart will manifest itself in better decisions and a, and a better world around you. So my decision to get into politics was to make my immediate community a better place to live. And through giving back in my time uh, volunteering as a, uh, as a local city councillor, uh, has enabled me to, to get to the position where I am because people have realised uh, the amount of effort that I, I, I am able to put in and the, the love and care and attention that I'm able to give to my, to my role on top of my day role. And Kings has been here for 476 years since its re-founding re re and it's, it's an integral part of, 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 of Worcester.